INEC has registered up to 4 million people since April of last year. So the numbers have been a lot. Even INEC themselves, I understand, are quite surprised at the number of people that have come out. But the complaints are also very valid because in as much as INEC has set up structures to register people, they have done a very poor job of communicating. So one of the main things people complained about as we came through Lagos is that they don't know the INEC offices in the LG are too far. They understand that INEC is moving around, but by the time they find out, INEC would have moved. And so INEC is not doing a very good job enough of actually disseminating information about where they are going and when they'll be there. As far as EIE is concerned, we've only found three locations where INEC has made that information public. That's Lagos, Edo State, and the FCT. And it's public in the sense that it's available, but it's not public enough that people know where it is. INEC sometimes has meetings with stakeholders and they expect them to then disseminate the information. But sometimes there's a gap. And at the end of the day, INEC is responsible for information. So if people don't get the information, the responsibility is back on INEC, not the stakeholders, on INEC, to ensure that the information is getting out. The biggest thing we're doing with voter, I mean, there are two parts of it. One, people are registering so they can sell their vote. But at the end of the day, we're telling people that until you, and because you sell your vote on election day, you wait for four more years to do it again. The point is, if you invest in the process and you stand, and it's not about, I mean, this campaign is very um, non-partisan, so we don't care who it is, but we're saying, get your voter's card and use that to help even political parties determine who it is they put on the ballot. Because, I mean, Banky W just gave a challenge. Imagine if 100,000 people say, you know what, in this Surulere local government, oh, this is the type of person we want to represent us in the National Assembly. He must be someone of credibility, must have shown capacity, a track record that shows that he can serve. And we begin to demand who we think represents us, but we're doing that by showing that we have the power to vote. You can talk all you want, but if politicians know that you can't vote and you won't vote, you don't, you don't matter. So that's why this is really driven around registration. So at least start with your voter's card and begin to use that to bargain about the type of person you want to see on February 16, 2019, and March 2nd, on the ballot paper, the types, and when you're, so when you're voting for a party, you know who the candidate is and what the candidate represents. A lot of people are apathetic because they don't think it works. But I keep telling people, 2015, for me, if not for anybody else, showed that Nigerians have the power to change people in power. Simple. If, if you need any reminder that your vote matters, think about 2015. People voted and it mattered. Underage voting, yes, you know, I understand for INEX responsibility or challenges because in some places it's a it's community conspiracy. They come with birth certificates that shows they're 18. People assume that INEC can just remove them because on the voters register they are listed as 14 or 13 and INEC leaves them there. No, that's not the case. They're listed in the voters register as 18 and above. INEC by law cannot do anything if you show me a birth certificate that says you are 18. I have to register you. Especially when you're in areas where people are threatening your life and people with their mothers come or the community elder come and say you are 18. So what do you want people to do? So we are challenging communities that you have to stand and ensure that people who you know were born 10 years, were only 10 or 12 because they were born in front of you. So you know in your community that this person cannot be 12. You go to the registration points and stand there and go with other community members and say no, I know your son. Your son was born 10 years ago and used that to push back. So INEC can play a part in terms of um, raising awareness, but a lot of it really is with communities. We call it community conspiracy. Because if the local chief plus the local imam plus the local pastor, they're all there and they don't say anything, then who really is at fault?